So I really love Minecraft, it's my favourite game ever. However, as a game it's very flawed at a fundamental level. So to demonstrate this I just wanted to show my first experiences with the 1.21 update and how as a player who's not very experienced in the new features, it's really frustrating and not very fun to play. Apparently there's a trial chamber just under here. I thought they'd spawn on like mountains or something like ancient cities. So I'm quite surprised to see it spawning under like the ocean. So this is genuinely my first experience ever going into a Minecraft update spoiler free. I really hope it's cool because like I haven't actually seen any of that. Whoa, I found it. Tough bricks. What? Whoa, these things look cool. One thing I do really like about Minecraft is how the block system works with you being able to adventure out and find new blocks and bring them back home and I think that works really well. I feel like these are going to be really good for building with these tough bricks. <gasps> Whoa, this is so cool. I'm hoping it's like, wait, what's that? This is sick in here. What's that? What? No, stop spawning. <laughs> what? So many zombies. I hate baby zombies so much. Go away, go away. These things are freaking dangerous. What? No, this, this is gonna kill me. I don't have any food. I kind of forgot to give myself some. I'm gonna be having to like make do with the rotten flash. Oh, I'm gonna die. Honeycomb in the chest? What is this chest loot? That was almost really bad. I almost died there. I might be really undergeared for this, especially on hard difficulty. This is awesome though. <gasps> Diamonds? Boy, this chest loot might actually be good. There's another one of these like weird thingies. I'm so confused. What is this? Um. Okay. Is it like one of those vault things? I think I've seen that on like a YouTube thumbnail. If I go to the spawner, will that drop the key? Copper doors? There's nothing here. No, oh no, oh no, this is getting really bad. I'm just gonna camp the ladder. Um, hopefully they can't hit me from here. Phew. Did I win? What? That was terrible. One cooked chicken for all my work. No, this is such a scam. I really ended up falling into this massive pitfall when exploring the trial chambers. And that's the fact that I didn't know that I had to drink the ominous potion to make it ominous. And I think the Mojang devs tried to solve this issue by giving you the ominous bottle inside of the chamber. However, I'm not sure it really works, especially for someone who kind of has a lot of game knowledge, but just doesn't know about the new update. You see, I assumed that these ominous bottles were just for raids still. I didn't really think I'd have to drink it in the trial chamber, because why would I drink it in the trial chamber? The ominous effect is specifically for raids. That was my thinking at least. And I think Minecraft just does a really bad job at communicating that kind of thing. I need to sort out this junk. Like what the heck is this? They say they're trying to work on the inventory problem and then they can be like that. There's so many different random blocks in here. It's crazy. Right now, I don't really see much reason why I'd ever want to go here really in survival because there's just not much stuff. They were like all epic fights and stuff. And like in the, the trailer. Where's the breeze, guys? I thought they'd be here. And if I kill these, I better be rewarded with something good. What? I got a key. Oh no. Oh, I died. Oh, <laughs> oops. Well, at least there's like some danger here. Like it's not easy. But it was like, what's the freaking point of it being in the game if it's like way too easy? No, I thought we were kind of over the days of generating random couple ways to nowhere. But I suppose we're not. I do really like the um, building style of this. Like, it's really cool. And these, like, new tough blocks are amazing. There's, like, multiple types. I feel like those are going to be really useful. So let's see what these, like, contain. What do I do with the keys, then? Wait, why don't these open? Do you need to, like, kill all of the things first? Oh, well, this one worked. Efficiency three. 
That's a bit disappointing. I kind of hope for more. Another key problem I find with these new structures is the lack of loot. It's at the point where even when a structure's fairly late game, like the trial chamber, the loot is just not very useful at that point of the game. Obviously, the wind charges are quite nice. However, there's not really much else in a trial chamber that's very useful. Because, like, what am I supposed to do with an Efficiency 3 book? Because I can quite consistently enchant my tools with Efficiency 4, so when would I ever need Efficiency 3? And to you, it may seem like I'm just being intentionally stupid, but I really just had no way of knowing that I had to drink the ominous bottle. And without YouTube help, I wouldn't have known to this day. And I would have still just thought that the trial chamber was completely lame. After seeing what I saw of the trial chamber, I did not think it was very good. But after seeing it on YouTube, I'm really hooked on it, and I think it's a good update overall. It just, it doesn't communicate what it needs to to the player about drinking the Omnis bottle. And in many ways, I feel like the Omnis vault should be the default experience, because the loot from the normal ones is so boring that what's the point of really going there? And this is a problem with other updates as well. Like, how is anyone supposed to find the ancient city without knowing that it's under mountains? And I have a friend who's kind of stuck on the 1.7 update just because they don't have enough knowledge of the newer updates, and that's really hard to learn. And I've seen lots of other people talk about how being on an old update is really difficult to get the new updates, and I didn't really understand what they were coming from until I tried 1.21 blind, and I didn't understand it either. And if I just wanted to get some quick views, I'd leave it there. But honestly, despite its flaws, Minecraft is such a good game. And I think its shortcomings is just why the YouTube community is so beautiful around the game. It's just a wealth of knowledge that can be shared from creators to viewers in an infinitely more special way than anything the game could offer. And I don't mean to hate, like, on the Mojang devs. I think what they do is amazing, and I'm so thankful that they're updating the game. And they're bringing us all of this new content. I think where some of the stuff is not explained, that's why YouTube is so beautiful. So for the next update, I won't go and spoil it for I'm going to be looking at the wiki, I'm going to be following the snapshots, and I'm going to try and bring this knowledge to all of my viewers. And I hope that if I teach one person out there, something about Minecraft, uh, I'll feel happy. Anyway, I think this update is really cool overall, and I'm really glad they made it, and I hope you have a good day because that's the end of the video. Um, see you, bye!